If you're like me, whenever you're traveling to a new place, you're worried about finding a gym to work out in. You research gyms in the area ahead of time on Google Maps and plan to keep your fitness schedule intact while you're away from home. When I went to Batangas in the Philippines to scuba dive for the weekend, I saw that there were no gyms anywhere near where we were staying. Luckily enough, when we were driving to dinner that weekend, I saw a gym on our way to the restaurant. The coolest part about this gym is that it's not on Google Maps. I wanted to get a workout in in between the dives here. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do with this equipment that we have in this gym. The resort is called Philip Ann. The road is just right here. And then you actually do also have the ocean right here, which is an amazing view of where we have been diving the past few days. So in this gym, we do have a treadmill, but because I only am wearing Crocs right now, don't want to use the treadmill while I'm wearing these Crocs. So we're going to warm up with some heavy bag. All right, guys, I'm going to get you guys inside of my head a little bit. Usually when I'm traveling around, it's, it's pretty hard to stay motivated to work out. Like it's not that available. Like equipment is hard to find, but I think it's really important to continue to work out through all of the day to day things that you're doing. You know, if I, if I just came here to dive for three days and I didn't work out, I definitely would feel like uh, my routine is off. You don't have to be super strict with it. You just have to show up and make sure that you're doing everything you can every day to do your best. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like when I'm not feeling like I'm doing my best, that's when I start getting inside of my head. That's where like all of the negative thoughts start coming in and yeah just starting this workout right now has really lit that fire in me <laughs> and you have to light that fire many times over the years and you have to not only do it once a week once a month once a year you have to show up multiple times a week and stick with it and for someone who's been staying consistent for over 10 years now it's uh it's a difficult battle but i'm here to show you guys that no matter where you are, it's possible to stay fit wherever you go in this world. If you search gym on Google Maps in this area, you can't find this gym listed. I'm pretty sure you can find the resort, but you can't find that there's an actual gym with resistance, with weights, with a treadmill here. Day pass, the day pass was $2.99. So that's around, around $5 for the day pass, which is good. It's not horrible. Like the best price that I've gotten for a day pass here in the Philippines has been less than a hundred pesos. So that's less than $2. <laughs> so this is like a middle of the road gym. They have a dip machine with like the ab thing. So you can do like leg raises, pull up bar, BOSU ball, some yoga mats. And then here you have all of the boxing equipment. So Boxing equipment, you have a lot of ab wheels, like too many ab wheels. No one's gonna use all these. Uh, you have a Bluetooth speaker, so you're able to play your music on the speaker here. They have a TV that I muted because I don't know if this is gonna be copyright. <laughs> they have this thing. I'm pretty sure this thing is for punching. They have dumbbells here up to 50 pounds, so like your normal hotel. There's a cool mirror here and then they have a hammer curl curl bar, they have an easy bar, they have these adjustable dumbbells, which are really nice. And then they have obviously the treadmill, the hack squat, a sight rig machine, this rowing machine. So you got three good cardio machines here. Oh, actually four with the heavy bag. All right guys, so as you can see, when I'm benching here, I'm actually grabbing outside of the safeties and this is not the safest way to train. I don't even have like safeties on the bottom, but uh, yeah, we're gonna work with it. And I'm going to try to stay within like an RPE nine. So I only have like one rep left in the tank. So I'm able to slowly and safely re-rack this bar without guillotining myself. <laughs> is that a word, guillotining? So this open style gym that we have going on here, the one with no AC, just the outside temperature. This is the ideal environment for me to train personally. Um, you might get more winded when you're hotter and you're like, you're sweating, you feel hot, but I'd rather be sweating my butt off than 
not sweating my butt off and trying to break a sweat in an air conditioned gym. So whenever I'm out traveling and everything, this is the type of gym that I'm looking for. I'm looking for these types of open air. Uh, you can hear the cars passing by. You can hear the birds in the trees. You can hear the boats passing by in the ocean. Like these are the types of gyms that I'm looking for. This is the type of training environment that I really enjoy here in the Philippines. And I'm glad that we were able to find this gym and I'm able to share this experience with you guys. So let's continue the workout. <laughs> It's the first time I've used a hack squat in quite a while here. So I'll show you guys how I get into this machine. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. So you let me know if I'm doing this right because the only safety is right here. So I have to let it down onto the safety. So it's all the way down here. Like when I stand up, I'm this high. I really have to hobbit my way in here. Put my feet here and then uh, stand up, ready? Can you guys guess how much I weigh right now? Because they have a weighing scale right here. I haven't been able to weigh myself in a while. Let's see what works. Here we go, pounds. I'm guessing I'm like over 190. Okay, 189.4. <laughs> Over the past four months, I've been kind of looser with the diet, but still training pretty consistently. I just wanted to bulk up a little bit, build some muscle before we cut back down a little bit but I'll probably aim to get down to about 180 pounds in the next five-ish weeks because, spoiler alert, <laughs> we are going to be going to South Africa. And not only South Africa, there's two other countries. I'm gonna leave the other two countries as a surprise. So I'm pretty excited about that upcoming trip and really excited to share with you guys just these more casual vlogs in the gym because throughout the year, like <laughs> for my life since I was in high school, I have been training and doing this. It's very difficult to stay fit while you're traveling, while you're away from home, away from a normal schedule. So I wanna take that as a challenge and bring you guys along the journey, show you guys that it's possible to stay fit wherever you are, whatever you're doing in life. You can always get it in. You can always get in a short workout if you're crunched on time. It doesn't have to be an 110% effort every single time. You just have to stay consistent. I hope this gives you guys ideas or inspiration to move forward in your own journeys <laughs> because it's difficult and I know that. I'm with you guys. Let's say goodbye to the gym. Up front we have Superman here <laughs> with the British flag. I think the owners are from the UK and you're gonna see that there's British flags everywhere here, which is pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed working out with me at the Philip Ann Resort. It was super fun. I always like going to different gyms whenever I'm traveling. I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. If you haven't seen our scuba diving adventures here in Batangas, click here to witness the enormous school of jackfish the locals call Jacknado. Or click here to see which legendary Pokemon we found underwater here in Mabini this weekend. I'll see you there.